Hello my peeps, it's Antoinette here. I am so excited about what arrived in my Amazon box today. The perfect condo size dish rack. The Umbra Basin dish rack, U-M-B-R-A. And uh, I did a lot of research. <laughs> Uh, looking for my dish rack. I went to Aldi's and they had the super deluxe uh, dish rack and uh, I bought it but it didn't fit in my little sink. I needed a 15 incher and it was 17 inches. So I wound up having to take it back and that set me on a search for the perfect dish rack because I've bought these Rubbermaid pieces of crap at least five times and uh, I don't like the separate uh, utensil thing and then these humps here make it impossible to put other things besides plates in there and it's always grody I mean it gets it gets gross really fast I've tried cleaning it in the uh, top rack and uh, it just never comes clean. So, this is the last Rubbermaid that I'm going to throw away. It's not even worth donating. Now, Umbra uh, uses many designers to come up with their, uh, their dish racks. And I watched a few YouTube videos tonight just to see what uh, was really all out there. And a lot of them, what's really popular today is the over the sink variety. Um, but being a family of one, um, I generally put, uh, uh, you know, daily, I just put things into the dishwasher. But there are so many things that I don't want to put in the dishwasher. Like for instance, you know, these homemade, uh, you know, craft mugs, my dog mom mug. You have to hand wash your cutting boards and you can't put wooden spoons in the dish rack. And you know, I love my 70s, so <laughs> can't put my Pyrex in the dishwasher either. And I have a lot of that. So there are a lot of things that I have to hand wash. Anyway, look. So this Umbra, there's two different ways that you can use it. Now I'm only going to use it one way. Uh, they have this, let's see, this, the designer on this one is Umbra Design, Helen T. Miller. Uh, so there's this drain thingy. -dingy. It slides uh, right in to the bottom. And then you can put it on the counter. And it's supposed to drain into the sink. Now, uh, people have written reviews about this and they say that's faulty. Uh, but for me, uh, they say it leaks. And I can see that. But if you see inside here, that's all open. Um, and I really like the drainage also on the utensils here and that it's all one piece. A lot of these uh, new technology dish racks have all of these pieces to lose. And uh, I don't want a bunch of pieces that I'm going to be throwing underneath my sink. But I am going to uh, show you a picture of how beautifully this fits into a 15 by 13 uh, sink, which is standard. I will also tell you that I have to back up the bus uh, a little bit because I have to get to my eBay which I did last weekend 
it, it, it took everything out of me not to make a video for you. But I'm like, I have to list this stuff. I mean, I had the shop go closing last April and it's February. So I had my nose to the grindstone last weekend and I listed, listed, I listed 60 items. And today the first one sold. This little flamingo string bikini <laughs> that I bought for 60 cents at the Shopco closing, which was so sad to me. Uh, yeah, I sold today for $15. And this was one item that I thought I'd be sitting on for a couple of years, honestly, but it sold. So I have to ship that tonight. The thing is, I had an eBay business before a YouTube channel. And um, I've been neglecting it. But in my backyard, coming in May, is the new uh, St. Vincent de Paul store. So I made a deal with myself that until everything's listed, I can't buy a single thing. So I need to have it all done before that store opens up because that will be... Uh, that would be a nightmare for me if I couldn't <laughs> source uh, over there. So I have to get all this stuff listed. I promise you at least one video a week. But I need to uh, get back to uh, the business that actually pays me. <laughs> so I'm here. I'll be here. All right. Now. At Aldi's, when I saw that dish rack that didn't fit, they had some beautiful scallops. I'll show you. Beautiful bay scallops. So, I'm very excited about the subscribers that have stuck with me in these last, like, it's what is it? Eight, eight, eight months? And, um,. I'm slowly growing and I appreciate you all coming on board, uh, which is why I, you know, upgraded my equipment because, uh, you know, this is for all of us, especially the over 50 crowd. That's who I'm really here for. I mean, you know, I miss Dot to Trot too. So come on, Dots peeps. Come on over. I wish she would come back. It's okay that she put weight back on. She was going through some things. And then we lost Christy. I mean, we lost some people over the years. But I'm here. Come join me. Let's uh, all stay on track. I hope you like seafood. I don't like a lot of seafood, but I love scallops. So, we're gonna make scallops and asparagus. See you on the weekend. After our fabulous dinner this weekend. Starting Monday, I mean, this has to stop. So, I am going to do an egg fast for next week, so I'm going to take you along for the ride. It's going to be very condensed, so it's not like, you know, an uh, hour video. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, if you're looking to do an egg fast, I'm stepping that up next week because, or I said last week was week six, but it was really week seven. So now we're going to be on week eight. I'm running out of time. And as of last week, I still got eight pounds to go, so I got to step it up. I really want to hit my goal, but I'm really ready for it to end this 90 day challenge and stop hopping on that scale so much once a week. Don't do more than that. Okay, peeps, we'll see you next time.